I'm Anita from Daydreams of Quilts. I just finished quilting this quilt and now I'm going to cut it up. But first I'm going to tell you about some mistakes that I made with this quilt and then I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. So I first made this quilt several years ago to showcase my Being Charming is a Plus quilt pattern and I wanted to show how you could do the neutral as the pluses and the colors as the background. Um, so sort of like a negative image of the original quilt. Then I tried to quilt it with clamshells, but I didn't have a clamshell ruler. And I tried to draw them out with water soluble blue fabric marker. And I don't even know if after like seven years, this is gonna come out but I'm going to try putting it through the steam cycle in, in my dryer and we'll see if that works. So after I quilted the clamshells, I was very unhappy with how this looked and this quilt sat for a very long time. And I probably should have just ripped all of these clamshell seams out, but I didn't. And then I decided to just use it as a learning quilt to learn free motion quilting on. So that's why we have all these different quilting motifs on here. And it's still, you know, I was learning, but it looks terrible. <laughs> so tonight I decided that I'm going to reupholster my dining chairs with this quilt and I'm gonna cut it into four equal pieces and make four chair seat covers. And so I just quickly free motion quilted with white all of the parts that weren't already quilted just to strengthen the quilt so it doesn't come apart when it becomes the seat of a chair. Okay, so it's been through the steam fresh cycle on my dryer and the blue pen is still here. So I do not recommend using water soluble fabric markers, especially if you're going to leave it sitting on the fabric for years. So I'm going to see how the chairs look once I've finished a um, reupholstering them with this quilt and if this blue is still there well that one's probably going to show for sure I will try to scrub it out with a damp cloth I don't want to put this quilt through the wash though because it's not actually bound right but anyway don't use the water soluble pens to mark your quilts I would say use a hair marker yeah this is really bad actually Okay, I am cutting. I'm going to cut this into four 24 inch squares for four seat cushions. Okay, I've cut it up. There's no going back now. So I guess we can only go forward. Okay, so this chair is a complete disaster. I believe this is my seven year old's chair. Um, I did originally upholster it with the rice linen from Cotton and Steel, but um, it has not stood the test of time. It did last for several years though, but now it's starting to rip and once it gets really stained, you can't get it clean. So not the best way to use that fabric, but we're gonna, and <laughs> these seats are falling apart too, so. However, furniture is very expensive, so we won't be buying new chairs right now. Um, at this particular t moment in time, but at least I don't have to unscrew it from the base. So we'll just be pulling out all these staples and re-stapling. Okay, so I have got the piece of quilt centered over the seat. Now I'm just going to flip it over carefully so that it stays centered. And I will have to put the camera down to do that, but then we can start stapling from the back. So you're just going to want to pull the fabric taut onto the back and staple right in the middle on each of the four sides. So if I do the front of the chair, then I'm going to go do the back of the chair. 
and then the two sides. So you have those four center points secured and then you just start stapling all the way around. This is really a two person job. So my husband is helping me. And I'm gonna put the camera down so that I can help hold the fabric. Okay, so we have stapled all around and secured the quilt to the base of the chair seat. So now this is what it looks like from the front and we're ready to put it back onto the chair. Okay, so here is one chair out of four finished. And I think it's gonna be quite comfortable to sit on as well. So there we are. Here we are under the table. They look pretty good. Um, most of the blue fabric pen came out with scrubbing with a damp towel.